The videos from the Ricoh Theater camera are standard MP4 files. You can either play it in an rectangular view or use a 360 video player, which we'll cover in this tutorial, to display the videos and have full navigation. The overview uses Flutter, which works on iOS and Android. Code for the tutorial is available on the Theta 360 Developers GitHub repository. It's 08 Flutter Video Display. You can either get the video from the network or from a local asset on the computer. It covers both Equit Rectangular and the 360 Navigation View. The package we're using for the Equit Rectangular Viewer is called Video Player. This is actually made by the Flutter.dev team and has 1,700 likes and 100% popularity. It's not made for 360 videos, but one way to view the 360 video is as a standard Equit Rectangular video. The other player that we'll be covering is the Video Player 360, which does display it in 360 with navigation. For this tutorial, I'm running Flutter. The version I'm using is 3.0.4, which is the most recent version as of July 12th, 2022. You'll need to use the same version of Flutter uh, for this tutorial or a new, newer version. So let's grab the Get Out repository. So three, Theta 360 developers, and we'll grab their link for the repository. We'll do git clone. On Windows 10, I'll just do right click and I'll paste the link in and we'll download it. In addition to Flutter and the GitHub repository, I'm also running an editor, an IDE, which is pretty common. It's called VS Code. VS Code also has the Dart and Flutter extensions installed. So the folder I just downloaded is 08 Flutter video display. We're going to need to run flutter pub get in order to get the package dependencies. So initially some of the code might be red because it's missing some of the packages. But then after you run flutter pub get, you should have all the packages in place. This example is basically the video player example from the flutter team. And it comes with the basic uh, demo or the demo videos from the Flutter team, right? So uh, these would be from the basic Flutter team. And we've inserted some of our own graphics here as well, too. There's also uh, sample videos from the Rico Theta X. If you look at the assets folder and you click it in File Explorer, you could see it in a 360 view automatically on Windows 10. This is a short uh, test clip from the Theta X. This is at 5.5K resolution. So it's a lower resolution for the Theta X. And there's one with the auto horizon turned off intentionally. Uh, so we could, we put the camera sideways so you can kind of see how it looks. Um, at a sideways view. If you want to put your own video in here, uh, might be better to start with a shorter clip first. And then you can drop it in this folder, which is assets. And in the main.dart file, you can just search for the name of the video file that's on the app. In this case, there's one here for coffee. Uh, Coffee.mp4. And there's the networked video which is um, coming across the network so we just put this thing up on a web page so that the application could grab it down i'm running a pixel 3a emulator with api 30 for android so just selected run uh, and then run without debugging and it's going to take a while this is a pretty fast laptop but the initial build on Android, because it has to run Gradle, it may take a couple minutes. So you might think, oh, it's not working and you're stuck. But uh, it's quite possible that as long as this thing is still moving, it may take 
maybe two minutes. So it's a bit longer than you might expect at the first build. In, in, after the first build, it's easy to do the hot restart. So if you want to change the graphics after that, it's easier to do. So the first tab is remote, which means it's coming over from the network URL. And there's a separate file for the captions, which is just standard text. So you could edit both of these settings. It's actually just right here on the right hand side. So this URL is the URL of the video file that's playing right now. And then we have the load captions. There's a separate file in here that you can just edit. It's just text. This next file here is a, it's a local asset and we're using a different one. That's the camera's held sideways, which is why it looks like that. It's an equi rectangular view and it's this file coffee here. You can't play it in the IDE. We have a list view example of some of the videos. And then there's a 360 view, which is being pulled over from the network. And you can play it like this. So you, you can easily change it to your own personal videos and you can put it on your mobile phone and then show your friends. So now that you have an idea of how to change the media, I'm going to stop this right here. And I'm going to connect my physical phone to this laptop. I'm going to connect the physical device, the Pixel 4a. To, and there's a allow USB debugging. So I already have it up, set up in developer mode. I'm going to press allow. And now my Pixel 4a is connected to the uh, laptop computer here. So I'm going to select run. Probably can't see it, but uh, and I'm going to select run without debugging. And it's going to build it for the physical device here. Now I have it on the physical device, and you could use it connected with debugging. We can also unplug it here, so now it's standalone. And you could, this is a network video here. And there, there's a, some audio, which might be uh, difficult to hear, but uh, then there's the uh, assets. Scan it from the assets folder. The thumbnail view of the images of the video and then the 360 view which is again it's, it's going to have to pull it over the network so just pull it down so you could put your own uh, file there and you can hear that we're laughing in the background you can tell when I move it like this so it's, it's uh, responsive this way I'm going to start the Rico Theta video here and record the video. And we can use this test clip and we'll see how it looks like in our mobile application. Okay, thanks, Jesse Kasdan, President of Opti. Absolutely. The star of our video here. <laughs> I have the physical device, the Rico Theta X. And I'm going to plug it into the same USB cable that I had my. Pixel 4a plug into this one side here, and now the Theta X is going to appear as a media device. I'm going to move it in to the the editor. Actually, I think I need to drag it in with the file explorer. Okay, it's on my local computer now. And we can see that we're showing the full capability of the 360 camera here. You too can have this much fun. So I'm going to change the name to the Here, there's two instances of the coffee. So, so I'm going to 
copy from 154 to up to no. And we'll change it to office name, but in before. And we'll save it, and then we'll we will reload the video. For this one, I'm going to select the Android emulator down here, so it's easier to see. And I'll run it. So on the uh, first tab here, or the assets tab, we, we have the video that we just took. Uh, it's a little bit longer of a test clip here to see motion. What I did to get access to the network videos, I simply just forked the original uh, tutorial and then I created this docs folder. So inside of uh, GitHub, there's this uh, GitHub pages configuration, and I've enabled it. So anything I drop in the docs folder, I should be able to access from a web page. So now the docs folder, which is connected to GitHub pages, I do have the video files able to put this in from the uh, command line, even though it is uh, 65 megabytes in size. So let's go back to this folder here and the main project. The 360 video portion of it is actually in this subfolder called uh, videos. So there's the main file and then there's videos and within videos there's view underscore 360 dot dark. I also changed the remote URL of the 360 video right here. So when I first start the app, I'm in the remote view and the select the quote rectangular view will play. Uh, in the 360 view will also play and we can see ourselves. We look very happy. I'm going to put it sideways for a slightly better view. I'll make the internet bigger so we can see it. up of the Getting Started Guide for the Repo Data API. I encourage you to subscribe to the site. Uh, we'll be doing another video and tutorial series on downloading the media from the 360 camera.